Did you know that you can almost guarantee a tackle by using the cut stick where you point the right stick down to tell your defender to take out the ball carrier's legs? Or did you know that you should always use her with a safety subbed in at linebacker because defensive backs jump way higher and get significantly better interception animations? These are just two tips that are guaranteed to make you a better Madden player, and I have 20 more to share with you guys, starting with the most basic tips and getting more advanced as we go. Using a velocity ability like set feet lead or pass seat elite will give your quarterback increased throw power on any bullet passes that you throw with a pass lead. The extra velocity means you can hit receivers in much tighter windows, allowing you to make throws that would otherwise be interceptions and get the very most out of your passing game. If you want to select a particular player on defense before the snap, a surprising number of Madden players will press B or circle repeatedly until they get to the player they want, but there's a much faster method. All you have to do is identify your currently selected player and then relative to him, point your left stick toward the player you want to select and then press B or circle. If you want to run a match coverage based defense, you have to go into your coaching adjustments and change your zone coverage setting from default to match. In previous years, you could call match coverage plays like cover four palms or quarters and the defense would play match coverage by default, but this year, calling those plays without turning on match in your coaching adjustments will cause the defense to just play a normal cover four drop. When a defender is about to tackle your ball carrier, spam A on Xbox or X on PlayStation. This has two benefits, the first being that it'll cause your player to stiff arm, which is one of the best ways to either break the tackle or get a fall forward animation. The other benefit is that if a tackle battle is triggered, you're already spamming the button that you have to press anyway, giving you a high chance of winning the tackle battle. If you're struggling to figure out whether your opponent is playing man coverage or zone coverage, put a receiver in motion across your formation. This is something that I cover in my Gun Doubles Offset ebook for my SpruceGoose.gg members, but if the defender lined up across from the receiver runs with him, then you know your opponent is playing man coverage, while if he stays on his side, then you know your opponent is playing zone coverage. The one exception to this is that your opponent could be base aligning, but if that's the case, then you should be able to capitalize on having a numbers advantage on the side you motioned your receiver over to. The edge threat ability is incredibly strong on defensive ends since it nearly guarantees dominant pass rush wins on the outside. For the best results, make sure you're playing in a four down lineman set like nickel over, big nickel over G, or nickel 2-4, and make sure you don't QB contain since that'll prevent the ability from working. Shading your man coverage in different directions will drastically change how your defenders guard the receivers. To shade your coverage, just press wire triangle and then point the right stick in the direction you want to shade. Shading outside will help your defenders guard outbreaking routes such as corner routes significantly better. Shading up will protect against getting beat over the top. And shading down will tell your defenders to play underneath the receiver. So in that case, it's smart to have safety help over the top. One of the best route combos for attacking zone coverage is the flood concept. All you need to do is find a play that has a corner route out coming from an inside receiver and then use hot routes and or motion so that you have a streak corner and flat route all on the same side of the field the streak is mainly there to clear out space so most of the time you just have to read the high low of the corner route and flat route and throw it at whichever one the defense doesn't guard when making substitutions and setting audibles on defense at the start of a game you may find yourself in a situation where you're forced to call a play before you're done with all of your adjustments however if you pause the game once the game resumes you'll have an extra 15 seconds seconds to finish making your adjustments and still have time to call a play. The inside stuff ability is one of the most effective ways to stop the run in Madden. Defenders with the inside stuff ability get significantly faster block sheds against inside runs, which often results in them instantly throwing off their blocker and blowing up run plays in the backfield. And if you're on offense, the way to counter an inside stuff player is before the snap, double team him. One of the simplest ways to beat man coverage is to use motion slants. As the name implies, all you have to do is put your receiver on a slant put them in motion, and then snap the ball. The motion makes it impossible for the defensive back to press, and most of the time, the receiver will get at least a few yards of separation after the break. If you're struggling against an inside run play, then try this universal gap shoot. Call any play in the formation nickel over, and then pinch your defensive line by pressing left on the D-pad and down on the left stick, and then slant them outside by pressing left on the D-pad and up on the right stick. Then hover with one of the linebackers over either defensive tackle, and after the ball is snapped, you can fly right down the middle to bring down the ball carrier in the backfield. One of the biggest improvements you can make to your passing game is learning to step up in the pocket. Most players have a natural tendency to continue dropping back with their quarterback after snapping the ball, which allows edge rushers to come in free and bring down the quarterback for a sack. Stepping up in the pocket will help your O-line hold their blocks and give you more time to throw, while also giving you the option of taking off up the middle. The short and elite ability will help your receiver or tight end get much better separation against man coverage 
coverage, but not everyone understands how the ability works. Short means the ability works 0 to 10 yards from the line of scrimmage, and in means the ability works inside the numbers. Contrary to what a lot of Madden players think, it doesn't matter if the route is breaking inside or outside. As long as the cut of your route occurs less than 10 yards from the line of scrimmage and inside the numbers, Short and Elite will activate and give your player better separation against man coverage. This is how you can shut down your opponent's QB sneak every single time. Instead of coming out in the goal line 6-2 formation like most players do, come out in the goal line 5-3 formation in any play. Then pinch your defensive line, slant them inside, and stand with your user in either gap between the defensive tackles. After the snap, there will be nowhere for your opponent's quarterback to go, and he'll either lose yards or get brought down for no gain. You can get extremely creative with running back wheel routes based on where your player is lined up. A running back lined up on either side of the quarterback will run a hot routed wheel route to that side, while running back lined up directly behind the quarterback will run a hot routed wheel route to the wide side of the field. One of my favorite setups to use this out of is pistol trips because it allows you to send a running back wheel route towards the trip side, and another example would be pistol strong where you can send running back wheel routes out to both sides of the field. Aggressive catches are extremely powerful in Madden 23 because when done properly, defenders don't react or go up for the ball. To perform an ad catch, identify a receiver in single coverage and then wait until the defender is facing away from the quarterback. Then throw a high ball by holding LB or L1 and also passing the ball to the outside. While the ball is in the air, click onto your receiver and press wire triangle to go up for the aggressive catch and the majority of the time, your player is going to come down with it. Know how to identify which corner routes will get the best separation against man coverage. In general, corner routes that break harder to the sideline will get better separation. For example, the corner routes on the play deep corner and gun bunch or verticals and gun trips tight end will be highly effective against man coverage, while the corner route on level Y corner out of gun tray Y flex will struggle to get separation. One of the best stick moves in Madden is the stop and go, which is fairly simple to perform, but still requires a lot of practice. When you're sprinting with your player, Player and want to perform a stop and go, let go of everything on your controller for just a split second and then go back to sprinting and pointing forward with the left stick. Briefly letting go of all controller inputs will make your player come to a stop for just a moment, making this an excellent way to make user controlled defenders miss in open space. For tight ends, there isn't an option in the hot routes menu to put them on a slant, but there is a trick to get around this. If you motion your tight end out to a receiver spot, he'll get the wide receiver hot route options. From there, you can put him on a slant and then motion him back to the tight end position where he'll still be on the slant. This is an excellent way to attack man coverage and your opponent almost definitely won't see it coming. And if you guys want to see my gameplay using a bunch of tips from this video, then go ahead and click up here. Or if you want to see 20 more pro tips that every Madden player should know, go ahead and click down here.